you guys are doing good um today it's saturday afternoon it's spending afternoon with me in the kitchen and as usual i went to the asian market i went to pick up a few things uh, i bought a mushroom um, green beans i bought bok choy dof, dwarf bok choy that's the one that i'm putting in a bowl there and then sweet potato as always you guys know that we love sweet potato in this house and i just opened my new fiber cloth and then i bought cabbage i bought two cauliflowers there um which i'm going to use some and some i'm going to store in the fridge um i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are good and i bought green onion as always i bought apples i bought like three avocados um on this day i always buy three don't ask me why <laughs> and i bought um greens two types i and i bought um uh, coriander as well i bought water spinach and i also bought uh, sweet potato leaves and i bought celery that is celery and i bought celtis as well i bought two of them and then i also bought um spring onion and i also bought chinese chives i bought a lot <laughs> it's very good with noodles guys you should try it and then i bought lettuce i'm going to make salad for the week for one day in a week and i bought two cucumbers there's no explaining some of the things you guys have seen them here and i bought two lotus roots that i'm gonna mix the fry with during the week and i bought two bro three blo broccoli it's a sm it's small head so i only bought three of them this was a long video guys i didn't want to make it too long so i sped it up a little bit yes so that's all i got from the asian market i didn't get a lot of things um they actually didn't have enough stock i don't know that's how i felt but maybe i'm wrong and i went to fort Peck, went and got my rice and i got bicarbonate of soda i got samp there I don't know how many i think it's one kg and then i got moroccan spice i'm trying this guys out you know and i bought paprika smoked i bought crushed chili flakes garlic flakes and i bought tandoori spice and then i bought uh, garlic powder i got himalayan salt there and i also got onion powder from them i bought cocoa and i bought chia seeds just a handful not too much and then i bought cinnamon sticks um so i didn't buy a lot from this spice shop or bigger packages as i was saying i think in another video i did say that um my cycle was messed up a little bit so this month i was trying to patch the in the because everything was a mess everything was a mess things did not go according to how i wanted them the previous months but i'm okay we will win we still soldier on and then um 
I am going to use my new dry mat. <laughs> oh, that's so cringy. They always say I'm cringy. I can see it. Anyway, um, guys, how are you? I'm going to ask you this question. Like, how are you? How are you guys doing? Is everything fine? You know, it, like, how are you? I always catch people off guard whenever I ask this question. But it's really like me just emphasizing or just wanting someone to stop for a minute and really check if they are really okay it's it's nothing personal or not personal it is personal obviously but i i'm learning to actually ask people how they are because i think we have said it before we are a generation where we don't really ask each other if we are okay as long as someone is smiling chatty you know and up <laughs> when i mean up as long as they are awake we seem to assume that everything is hunky-dory i think that's why most of the time we lose a lot of youth or a lot of our kids because as long as they are smiling and uh, as long as they are awake as long as they are walking, we tend to convince convince ourselves that they are okay. How many times have we had uh, people saying, oh, but he was just here, he was smiling, bubbly, oh, she was okay, she was having fun. And I always say, the ones that are always cracking up jokes, guys, they are the ones that are suffering the most. The ones that are always there for people, they are the ones that are suffering the most. So let's normalize asking each other, how are you? Can we make it a norm? Because sometimes it's not so much about whether you want to hear, you want the juicy details of someone's life, but you just you know give someone something to say i do care and it's just as simple as that i care that's what you're saying when you're asking someone how are you like you are giving that particular person a genuine uh, i care about you without you even saying it so let's normalize asking each other how are you whether your colleague whether your kids whether your husband your wife your family whoever that is in your life ask them how are you <laughs> i caught my husband off guard again the other day i think it was the night before and i was like so babe how are you <laughs> <laughs> and he paused for a few seconds and i uh, funny enough when when he after he not like we spoke and he told me how he was and he he you know said the same question to me i think i even forgot that i he paused that i was laughing that he paused when i asked him how are you i also paused do you see how intense this thing is? Like, how are you? I also paused for a few seconds. Not that there's like, you. It just gives it. It just little pushes you to think. Hore, how am I really? You know. Anyhow, we are going to start making homemade hot chocolate. You don't have to do this. You can easily buy this by the store. And this is not a, a saving tip or anything. It's actually quite expensive. 
compared to others never mind the other phone i was doing for tiktok so just ignore it <laughs> so i just grated two chocolates the big one but not the jumbo jumbo one i grated them and then i am going to measure my cocoa powder which amounted to two cups of cocoa powder in a bowl and then my powder milk i did three cups of powder milk um i'm assuming you can use any powder milk of your choice but i decided to go with cremora and then i did three cups like i said this is not cheap it's just me making sure that i know what is inside and a pinch of salt the this the, the spoon that i used was two mil which is equivalent to a pinch of salt so now i'm measuring the grated chocolate that also gave me two cups so that chocolate the size of the chocolate is equivalent to one cup so if you've got two it's going to be two cups so uh, it's a double recipe this one guys you can triple it or quadruple it it's up to you and i measured one cup the reason i did one cup the receipt calls for two cups i did one cup because one creamera has sugar two the chocolate is not dark chocolate or chalk chips it has sugar so i just did one cup of sugar and then everyone else will adjust their sugar according to how they they want it i must say if you make this make sure that your kids cannot reach this because you will one day find them sitting down with the jar on a chair on a, on a couch and before you know it it will be finished this is absolutely absolutely delicious but rich this is something that uh one should visit i've had this in my cover for two weeks now since i'm doing this voice over and uh, <laughs> my people wants to have a cup of hot chocolate every night and i'm not excluded i'm not a saint <laughs> <laughs> so this is so delicious guys i just did it because i prefer to know what is inside my things and i felt like the one at the store they're not putting enough cocoa in it and they're putting a lot of sugar so i just wanted to make sure that i get the ratios that i prefer you know i i don't want it too sweet but i do want to taste my cocoa in it and i'm happy with the result you know so you guys should try it you should try it it's two cups of cocoa three cups of milk two cups of grated chocolate and then one cup of sugar and a pinch of salt or two mils of salt so now i'm going to put all the spices in their jars and uh, you know we'll take it from there <music>
these are my last um two chicken in the freezer i took them out and i'm going to portion them and i'm going to use the breast for tonight's dinner and then the bones i'm going to do a chicken broth with them so that's what i'm going to be doing um today with the two chicken um these were on the smaller sides to be quite honest they were not the same size as the one that i bought last year in um in december but i guess that's what you get for buying a 30 a chicken for 30 rand do you guys remember that we actually used to buy chicken live chicken for 30 rand now you get one for like if it's it if you say it's cheap it's 70 rand you know and personally i don't like these ones i prefer the 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 is it the one that we call the hard body the taste of those chicken are something else i prefer them obviously for for stews and broth and you know when you want to have that with pap this one i like it for things like making wings for chicken schnitzel for stir fries and all of that yeah that's okay they are soft enough for that but personally i prefer that one that we call hard body this guys have you seen the skin of those chicken have you have you made a broth out of those chicken the richness that comes out of that i think they are the best you know because they were allowed to develop a a little while longer compared to this one i'm guessing but nonetheless um for me these are still much better compared to the frozen ones that we get from the store the one that we call bri pack it's still much better than them but yeah but i prefer those ones that we call hard body never mind the the, the bottles the the jars at the back i'm going to store my vegetables in them and then put them in a fridge they actually stay longer if you do that um and i'm utilizing them now because well i've ran out of grains and beans <laughs> so they are empty i might as well use them for something else but i do feel that i need to get another maybe this time i should get 24 of these one liter one and get um 24 of the 500 mil and then i'll also get the 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 200 250 mil 24 they're not that bad they're not that expensive um and i want i, I don't know i want to start uh this journey of preserving what is on season is is there any one of you that has done it and is happy with it how you do it i have been following a lot of of graders if you guys are new, if you are new here i follow a lot of people that are living off grid that is my long-term dream i don't know if it's going to materialize because mister is still enjoying corporate <laughs> and he is still very young so i do not think that he, he's gonna let go of corporate anytime soon so but it is my long-term dream to live in a land grow my own food preserve my own food you know the works but i know that my husband is not ready yet actually my husband doesn't like difficult things <laughs> i'm the one who's always making things difficult for him the easier the better 
you know so my long term is to be able to preserve to make my own food and preserve my own food you know so but uh since i am not able to do that now i think i'm going to buy what is on season and preserve it for winter in winter i'll buy what is on season in winter and preserve it for sun for for summer <laughs> why am i saying sun you know i just i just chopped a uh, celery now and then now i'm chopping a uh, green onion as well so yeah because even now i still have my strawberries you know i still have my smoothie ingredients in my freezer Mm, the one thing that I think I did not stock up on enough was the 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 mangoes and the and the peaches. Um, but I've learned now, and I'm going to stock up next. But also the mangoes and the peaches, ne, because they're so nice in summer. Oh my God, they were so nice to just snack on them frozen so we were not just using them for 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 smoothies and all of that we were also snacking on them because they are absolutely delicious and they pear as well they pear as well i snack on the pears guys frozen as they are the 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 deliciousness that is there and then my husband enjoys uh taking them the apples including the pears and put them in a bowl and in a microwave oh and sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on them guys guys hey <laughs> you and my bananas i'm still using them for a lot of my baking so it, um i'm going preserving i don't know how but it's 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 I'm just going to be manipulating the system. In winter, I will be eating summer veggies and fruits because I would have bought them when they are in season and when they are cheaper. And then in some summer, I'll be eating what we eat in winter because I would have bought them in winter when they are cheaper. You know, you know. So this is Celtis. Um I would say it is a mixture. The taste of it is a mixture between asparagus and cucumber. It is a very nice in stir fry, and I think you can also make a, you can put them in stew, or you can put them in salad. You can I think you can have this raw, but I had it in my my stir fry and it was absolutely absolutely delicious though i did not show you guys here in this video how i did the stir fry i think i'm gonna upload it in shots because of the angle that i took it in and then it's not suitable for youtube so i'll probably upload it in shorts I'll upload it on tiktok even on my cooking page on 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 facebook even instagram i'll probably do that but i won't be putting it up here because the angle i forgot that when i was shooting this i was using two phones the other one was with another angle and the other one was the other one was on landscape and the other one was not on landscape so i only have footage of me making the stir fry on the or, 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 or that is not on landscape so i don't think it's gonna look good on youtube you know so for now i'll just upload it in a short and then um i'll be careful next time so i just prepared what i'm going to use for dinner and then i'm gonna go ahead and start chopping like washing and chopping the the vegetables put them in jars and put them in a the fridge 
right here i am chopping green onion and i'm quickly just going to put it in a jar and then uh, I, we will put i mixed it with uh what we call i mixed it with with spring onion because to me they i know they are not the same but they practically taste the same so the white part of the spring onion and the white part of the green onion i just mix them because when i cook i'll probably chop one green onion and two spring onion <laughs> and then the green palm part of them i put them in the in one jar as well so that's how i do things <laughs> that's how i do it and i realized i've said this in one of my videos where i was doing asian hauls that if you put your vegetables in jars and in a fridge they stay for long fresh you do not have to chop them you can just have them or cut them in sizes that they can actually fit in a jar and then you put it in water and put it in a fridge trust me they're gonna last you for two weeks to three weeks or even more i'm saying these weeks because they sound safe <laughs> but it could it can probably last you longer than that and this is a chinese celery it's smaller in size it's not as big as the one that we are used to in south africa and it's tender as well in taste uh, when you put it um in your stews and all of that so i also put it in a jar as well and we're going to put it in a fridge <music> This was after dinner and like I said the dinner part I couldn't show you guys the entire thing because I took it the wrong angle it wasn't on landscape the rest of it and then I'm starting um, on another salad for the week 
which is cucumber coriander the other day i was asking <laughs> theo what it's called i i'm a fan of reed drummond so she loves the cilantro she'll be saying cilantro so i think it sounds cool you know so i wanted to say well i also say cilantro but i know we call it a coriander in south africa and then i'm adding red onion onto the salad and then we'll be adding a uh, feta cheese and uh, chickpeas as well and i'm going to leave it in a fridge i actually made a whole lot more than just this but because there was no electricity i couldn't put it in a you know i couldn't videoize it if there's such a word so the remaining coriander i put uh, a piece of paper towel at the bottom just to suck up the moisture and then i am going to put it in a fridge i didn't uh, chop it or anything i just let it that way i actually didn't show you guys as i was saying i boiled broccoli and one head of broccoli and those three heads of uh of uh, one head two three heads of broccoli and uh, one head of cauliflower i blanched them and actually made a salad from that i hope to make it with you this is the water that i used to blanch them and then i added my vinaigrette in there i hope to do it with you guys next time because i made it and i also made a salad for the week as well but because there was no electricity <sighs> so these are the scraps ne? and then i also added a mushroom dry shiitake mushroom that i've had in my cupboard for a while theo doesn't enjoy them so i decided to put them in the vegetable broth that i'm making and then i just added chili flakes i um, added two chilies i added bay leaf uh, star anise allspice berries and i added chili garlic ginger paste and then i added um yellow salt onto the mix and the bones and i also added garlic and onion powder black pepper and i added water this is like 20 minutes before electricity goes because um during the day when i was doing the hot chocolate and all of that after dinner it was just before eight we ate and electricity left at no was it was it six o'clock the timelines have run away but this is just before midnight electricity is gonna go at midnight and this is that bok choy, dwarf bok choy that i showed you the one that i bought four of them i cook them like i cook spinach and i put them in a fridge and i use it as a side during the week normally it would be rice chicken and then it will be rice chicken and then uh, the, the the bok choy and if there's potatoes i also do potatoes but that's how i cook it i don't complicate it uh, i added moroccan spice i'm loving this moroccan spice you guys know i don't like spices ne? but this one tastes good it tastes good maybe i'm warming up to using more spices because i saw myself using a uh, buying tondori anyway thank you for watching see you next time bye